Linking a blog post to an external URL is weirdly quite a common request that I get off clients. And basically they say, you know, we get featured in different press articles or we want to showcase here where we've done a guest post or whatever, but we want it to look the same as our blogs. We want to display it alongside the actual blog posts that we do on the website. So I actually do this quite a lot and I think it's going to be useful for A, designers, if you're a designer and a client asks you for this, or B, if you're like my clients, you're a business and you want to link to, you know, your articles on other sites, but you want it to look cohesive with the blogs on your site. So it's really, really simple. It's something called a source URL, and I'm going to show you exactly how to do that. So we'll use my blog as an example here. If we go into website and we go into blog, let's say we're going to add a random blog post. So we're going to add this into here, how to link your blog post. Oh, can't even type to an external URL. Hopefully you don't have sausage fingers like me <laughs> and you can actually type. But anyway, how to link your blog post to an external URL. We'll hit save and then we'll go into the back end of the blog here. And if we scroll down under content, you're going to see source URL. So in here, we will put the URL that we want to link to. Um, so what we want to do is just put, we'll, we'll do google.com because that's nice and easy. And then we want to toggle this. So link post title to source URL. We're going to toggle that and we're going to save. Now, when you're happy, just hit publish. I'm doing this on my live site, which is a bit dodgy. But anyway, if we go now onto bycrawford.com, and then we go onto my blog, you can see the post is here. Now, when we click on this, that is going to take us to google.com. Now, what you want to avoid, which is a mistake that I made when I was first recording this, is in the three dots, instead of putting, like I had, which was google.com, you want to put a proper domain, so a proper URL, should I say. So if I just quickly go back onto here, now that I've entered in the back end, the source URL, which is here. And then I click on this. That is gonna do bycrawford.com forward slash google.com. No idea why it's doing that, but um, yeah, <laughs> you just wanna avoid that. So basically, instead of google.com, we wanna put in Google here, and then we wanna grab the actual URL. Put it in, so we've got the HTTPS. Then we wanna click save. And then when we go back to the blog, like so, and then we go to the post, it's actually gonna to go to where we want it to go. So weird little quirk, I literally only just discovered that like as I was recording, but just make sure you don't make that mistake. So hopefully you found that useful. If you did, please make sure to leave a like and hit subscribe. And if you want me to build your Squarespace website, you can get in touch using the links in the description.